you very much. Good evening. First of all, uh, my friend Chaim Chesler and uh, Sandra Khan, thank you very much for establishing this great organization that, you know, we, have, we are the Jewish people, we have a lot of organization, a lot of people that have a lot of initiatives, but I know that Limud make the difference. It's make the difference because they got a decision to connect Jewish people to their Jewish roots. And this is, I think, one of the important mission that we have as a community, as a one nation, to keep and to be connected to our Jewish roots. So I'm very, very glad to be in this event, in this amazing event. For us in the Israeli Knesset, I myself feel and believe that I'm not only a, a responsibility of the Israeli people that live in Israel, the Jewish people that live in Israel. I think that we are in the Knesset also represent the Jewish people around the world. And all of us, Jewish Jews that live out of Israel and in Israel, we all one. We have the same uh, future, the same destiny, and we need always to keep and make sure that we are keeping as a one and strong nation. And I know, <laughs> and I know that to be a Jewish, uh, to be Jews, Jew actually in the diaspora is not, is not easy. Actually to be part of the Jewish people is not so easy. And it's not because all the enemies that we had and all the people that don't like us, and we can handle with them, and usually we know how to win. The problem is that when you are Jewish and part of the Jewish people, you have the responsibility for Israel, and you have the responsibility for the Jewish community. And it's not easy to make sure that you have the Jewish education and to make sure that the young generation still continue being connected to the Jewish roots, and we have, we have a lot of challenges how to keep how the people, the Jewish people, connected to the Jewish education, to the Jewish way of living. And I believe this is one of the important projects that Limu doing and other organizations doing. So that's why I'm more than glad to be here with you. So I want to wish all of us, first of all, Chag Sameach for Lag Baomer. And secondly, to see all of you come and visit in Israel and make Aliyah also. And remember, Israel is the place for the Jewish people. But even if you don't live in Israel, you always should feel that you're part of Israel and you are part of the Jewish nation. And together we can be a strong and successful community as the one and the only Jewish people. Thank you very much and have a great evening. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, um, Yoel Hasson. Give him a round of applause once again. We also would like to mention that this year we have a new family, a uh, new member of our family, and um, new, our new sponsor is the Genesis Philanthropy Group. And we're very, very... And we're very, very excited for them to, to, to helping us to support our children's program. So thank you, GPG, Ju Genesis Philanthropy Group. We also are honored to have with us the Executive Vice President of the Claims Conference. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Greg Schneider. One, two. Thanks. It's May 13th, 2017. Lagba Omer, imagine for a moment, May 13th, 1943. If anybody remembers, between mid-April and mid-May in 1943 was the uprising in the Warsaw Ghetto. A couple of Jews, having not eaten for years, beaten down, starved, diseased, demoralized by seeing their entire families murdered or deported, decide to take matters into their own hands, to not allow the Nazis 
to decide their fate. And so they fight back. And as is the Jewish story, against all odds, against the entire mighty Nazi war machine, they hold out for a month. The uprising ended on March, uh, sorry, on May 16th, 1943. This was only 74 years ago. It's unimaginable to think what has happened to the Jewish people in those 74 years. I was reminded of this story because yesterday in my office I met a woman named Sonia. And Sonia was a survivor, a Jew, who was in the Warsaw Ghetto during the uprising. And she told how she was hiding in a bunker. It reminded me of the story of Masada, a group of Jews who had no chance and yet held out against all hope, ultimately succumbing, but proving that we're a tough people, we're a resilient people. And that's what Holocaust survivors are, that's what Jews are, proud, tough, resilient. And so the Claims Conference, the organization that I work for, tries to acknowledge that suffering, sometimes through compensation payments, and sometimes for people who need help now in their old age through home care. So many people in this room, I'm sure, have relatives who are still living in Russia or Ukraine who probably get some aid through the Chesed Network. The Chesed Network, together with the Joint Distribution Committee, is funded by the Claims Conference. But we know that survivors are passing away. And as memory fades to history, who will tell the story? Just as we remember Masada, just as we remember the stories of the Jewish people, even tonight about Lagba Omer from thousands of years ago, it will be incumbent upon us, upon the people in this room, to remember those who were murdered in the Shoah, those who survived in their struggles afterwards. And so the Claims Conference is very proud to partner with Limud FSU, many other programs, to ensure that the remembrance of the Shoah of survivors is part of this, is part of this community. Everyone in this room becomes a witness in the next generation. Dr. David Maklis is here. He organizes programs for March of the Living. He just told me that of every American university, every single college or university in the country, two-thirds do not even have one program, one course on Shoah education, on the history of the Holocaust. We remember the destruction of the temple. We remember what happened in Bar Kokhba. We remember Masada. And we must remember what happened during the, during the Holocaust. And I, my bracha to you is that we enjoy tonight, we celebrate, we kibitz a little, we make some new friends, we bond with some old friends, you have a great time. But that one of the things that you take away is the importance of Holocaust education, that you pass it on from generation to generation. Thank you. Thank you, so much. Thank you. One more round of applause for Greg Schneider. We're so thankful for all of our sponsors' support. Let's give them one big round of applause. This room is filled with incredibly talented people. Most of them are redheads. And there's a one here with us to perform for us tonight. My friend, Lyonia Khmel. Put it up for Lyonia Khmel. Hey, everybody. How you guys doing? No, that was pathetic. Come on, only guys, only guys. How are you guys doing? Uh, let's see if girls could do it better. Come on, only girls now. How are you guys doing? See, there you go. Uh, all right. So um, I wanted to do something uh, different. Uh, we're all uh, we're all different here, you know, different ages, uh, different classes. But what I noticed is where people uh, feel more united is at sporting events. And something they do to, to unite themselves is a wave. And nothing has been done like that before in here. So let's see if we can do it in here. You guys know what a wave is? We're going to do a wave from front to the back. So the front row goes like that. And everybody follows them. Okay? I'm going to count to three. Three. Two, one, go! Woo! 
That was a bit pathetic. Okay, let's do one more time. Three, two, one, go! Okay, the back rows. All right. You guys never been at sporting events before. That's fine. <laughs> All right, so when we were uh, planning this event, we wanted to commemorate it to the life of Elie Wiesel, and uh, that's kind, kind, kind of, you know, legacy came up with. Um, and uh, along with Elie Wiesel, there are a, a lot of other people we wanted to commemorate, and one of them was uh, Leonard Cohen. Probably a lot of young people never heard of him <laughs> until last year. So I'm gonna play one of the songs by Leonard Cohen. Check one, two. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Woo! All right, so now I, that I got you up, <laughs> next song is going to be different. I got this new toy, which I have never played in, in, uh, in the public. So this could be a major fail or, or not, or could be a major success. So let's try that.
Ladies and gentlemen, give a round of applause, Lenny. Once again, give a round of applause. Thank you, guys. One, there you go. Go ahead, once again. Once again, Leonia Khmel making all the gingers proud. Ladies and gentlemen, we also want to show you the people behind this wonderful um, event, wonderful conference. So we would want to invite parents of this conference, I would say, or of this organization. Founder Chaim Chesler and co-founder Sandy Khan to say a few words. So if you may, please welcome. Please welcome Sandy and Chaim. First of all, we are very pleased to see as many as people as we have this weekend. And every time we get bigger and bigger. I think next year we need even a bigger hotel. So thanks to you for coming. And we have one year to think what to do next. My Sandra and myself want to announce that next year, as we could hear uh, Greg Schneider, the executive vice president of the CLEM conference, we have here a guest with Professor David Malkis, is the vice chairman of the March of the Living. This great project that next year is going to commemorate 30 years of its existence. This is the number one project of uh, the remembrance of the Shoah. So we took the initiative, Sandra and myself, to take next year and to launch a special operation of Limud joining March of the Living. So we are going to celebrate and to make sure that you in New York and in Los Angeles and in San Francisco are going to join us in Poland for March of the Living. We never done it before. That's going to be a new project of us. So I just want to tell you that just after the gala, after the great performance of Ninet Taib, the number one singer in Israel that we managed to get her here, which is a great, great thing for us, we're going to have a special presentation of our next year project of March of the Living by Professor David Malkis just after the gala in the William Odell Hall. I repeat, William Odley, Odell, whatever. Odell. What? Odell, you know Odell. William Odell, excuse my Hebrew accent. So I want to tell you, we're going to send a delegation from Moscow. We're going to send a delegation from Petersburg. We're going to send a special delegation from Ukraine, from Kiev. We're going to launch a special train. We call it the Freedom Train, going from Kiev, one train ride into Auschwitz. But that will be the Freedom Train. The same thing we'll do in Bondova, and we'll do it in Belarus, and we'll do it in wherever we have present of Limud. And next year, in Mirce Hashem, we will show one thing. Am Israel Chai. Thank you very much. Okay. I don't want to Thank you very much, Chaim and Sandy. Thank you. Menashe, Chaim and Sandy are a little bit like us, right? I'm not, just not sure which one is uh, better looking, me or you, right? <laughs> I'm, not, I'm sure who is more Bukharian. Um, let's figure out who is it. So, a comedy show is going to be right after. We would like to invite Roman Kogan, who is an executive director, um, just to stand uh, right next to the stage. And also... Let's give it up for Roman Kogan! Please help me welcome the woman and the most important person behind this incredible effort. She is the one who makes this all thing happen. Noam Schumach. No hum, no hum, no hum. I'm, I'm personally honored to be part of such an incredible team. And I would like to bring on this stage, not on the stage, on right next to the stage, teammates and colleagues and friends but before, I would like to introduce the chair of this year's Limud FSU Legacy Conference, MC of tonight's show, of this, and master of ceremony, 
Ilya Brotman. And the co-chairs of this wonderful Nemur FSU 2017, we have Valerie Khmelnitsky and uh, Roman Sidler. Also, please come up here. The chairs of our organizing committee is Chair of Programming Committee, Jana Bale. Woo! The Chair of the Participants Experience Committee, Esti Bardanashvili. Chair of PR and Marketing, Marina Mirchevskaya and Yulia Mansur. Chair of the Event Management, Elman Isakov. And last but not least, my partner in crime here, the Chair of the Development and Fundraising Committee, Manasha Chaimov. We're going like to take a nice, a beautiful group picture. And we'd like to give some of our co-chairs a couple of words of acknowledgement. 